Hey there. Well, I'm wearing a shirt because I doubt you want to look at this the whole time. Uh, <laughs> I get to take this off at uh, 3.30, and then they'll uh, analyze the results of the uh, heart monitor, and hopefully it's not really anything. Uh, you know, crossing my fingers, uh, uh, like, live long and perspire, and yeah, that joke's getting really old. And uh, But in this video... There's a particular someone who has influenced this, but I don't want this person to be able to state that, oh, I'm persecuting them. So I'm just going to talk about some pet peeves of mine. Uh, it's a huge pet peeve of mine when someone refuses to take any effort to figure out what someone is saying. And then all they want to do is whine and bitch and moan about the way that something was worded. And then that person who's whining and bitching about the way something is worded will have the audacity to tell the person they're whining to that they're not making any attempt to, uh, to really understand the things that the person is whining about. It's like, okay, so you're not going to listen to what people are saying. And then when you whine about the way that they worded it, you're going to complain that they're not listening to what you're saying? That's, that shit's, that's bullshit. That's some serious bullshit right there. You know, this, this, uh... Like if there is a, an article that gets posted by someone, like I say, I'll post some sort of article, and it's from a website that I know has a lot of sensationalist uh, types of approaches to things, you know, sort of like BuzzFeed or something, right? And it's obvious it's a sensationalist type of article. Well, instead of just saying, hey, I don't like this source, can you get this from another source? Or, um, well, I don't like this source, but let's talk about the subject anyway and ignore the, the bad things about this source. Or even just saying, hey, this source is sensational, sensationalized. Um, it's this thing of, well, let's talk individually about all the little things that uh, you don't like about the article. And completely avoid any sub any discussion about what the article is trying to talk about or any of that. It's just trying to invalidate everything about the article because of uh, because it is sensationalist. And it's just like, okay, if I respond saying, yes, I, I understand that this is a sensationalist article. Do you want to discuss the subject of sensationalized articles? Do you want to discuss the actual subject at hand? Do you want me to get a different source? What is it you want? And the answer is basically, I want you to listen to me. You better listen to me. Or you're, and it'll be one of these four things, or you, it, and, and you know, if you don't, just immediately go, oh, yes, oh, yes. You know, it'll be, uh, you're either childish, emotional, stupid, or an idiot. Yeah. And look, look, I don't want to listen to that shit. If you, don't like the, if you don't like the source, get a different source. Or... Ignore the subject of, you know, ignore the bad things about the, uh, the source and just talk about the subject at hand. Or if you want to actually change the subject, let's, let's, let's make a, a, a declaration that let's talk about this instead of, the, of what the article is supposed to be about. And let's talk about what makes a, a uh, source sensationalist and what's bad about sensationalist uh, sources. Let's have a fruitful discussion. Nope, 
no, that, that's not acceptable to, you know, this kind of person. And that shit, you know, I'm sorry. Then there's the, uh, uh, oh, a, appeal to authority fallacy. You know, and it can even be, they'll consider it uh, someone authority if they took one class of sociology in college. And that means that the historical, colloquial, or uh, dictionary definitions of a word are all invalid because this, this sociology class they, this, this other person over here took uh, says that this word means something else. And if you don't agree with that new definition, then you are anti-intellectual and stupid and lazy and an idiot and emotional and childish. And if you continue to argue with the person, then you're a special snowflake. Because how dare you, you, uh, how dare you say something against authority? Because sociology is always right. That sort of shit, you know, that's, that kind of pisses me off too. Um, I'll give an, an exact scenario in one of these where I'll mention, you know, I, uh, my view on the death penalty is that, uh, it should be more like euthanasia. So it would be the person who has been convicted of the crime gets to decide whether they, they want to spend the rest of their life in prison or whether they get put to death. And that the death penalty, you know, when, when, they, when they get put to death, that it should be done in a more humane way, where instead of all these, these, these lethal injections that can go wrong and cause the person to be in absolutely agonizing pain, instead of that, it should, and it should be just give them an overdose of something that makes them feel good. And besides being more humane, it would cost less. Well, then if I say that it costs less, oh no, I'm a terrible person because I've put monetary value on someone. Never mind everything else that I said. You know, the content of what, what, what I'm saying doesn't make any difference. You just want to jump on something that you, oh no, you disagree with this. I am a terrible person because I, I put monetary value on someone. Again, it's this thing of someone doesn't care, doesn't want to understand what someone's position is on something. It's just finding either the way someone worded something or they don't really care about what someone is saying until you can find some little phrase, little section of something you disagree with. You know, that shit, I, I'm sorry, I don't put up with that shit. And if you do that to me over and over again, and I see you do that to other people over and over again, and then when I call you out on it, <laughs> you start to go into those those four names again. Oh, childish, emotional, stupid, or an idiot. I can't call you out on it. I can't stop you in any way from doing it. There's, there's nothing that can be done. You're just going to keep doing it. And... Yeah, I mean... Why should I give someone like that at the time of day? Why should I give someone like that at the time of day? I won't. I won't give someone like that at the time of day. If you don't care what people are actually saying, you just have to do you just have to say something that well they're wrong and you're right and if that's what everything is about for you, why have a discussion with you? That's all I gotta say.